Happy Thursday! Guess what time it is, friends? It is cocktail time. So I'm really excited. I'm always excited because Thursdays are fabulous. Um, but today, I am making mimosas. Not just any mimosa, I'm making a caramel apple mimosa and I'm very excited to try this. Um, missing a key ingredient, guys. Once again, here I go. Getting my video started before I have everything. Okay, so we're making a uh, caramel apple mimosa today. It's going to have just some apple cider. Um, I just have what we have on hand, but I bet this will be amazing if you get some like real apple cider. Uh, it's got some caramel vodka and some champagne. Pretty simple. Um, and actually this one that I picked up, it had a little note next to it. You know, sometimes at the store they have little notes talking about um, the different wines and champagnes. And this one says that it has like apple and caramel notes in it. So I thought this would be perfect to try. So, all right. So today um, we're making it in a, in a little champagne glass. We got the flute out today. And this is gonna be super fun because I love it when we can put a rim on the, uh, on the drink, right? So we're going to take our glass and we're gonna put some caramel and some cinnamon sugar on there. Yum. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little dish and we'll put a little bit of caramel in there. Okay, just so we can get some on the rim of the glass. By the way, these little, these little Tupperware dishes are like perfect for this. Melissa, if you tune in, it's another way to sell your little Tupperware things. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get all the caramel because caramel is delicious. All right, and so then we need some cinnamon sugar and I should have gotten out another dish to dip it in. We'll just do this, watch this. We'll just sprinkle it in. There we go. And the stuff that falls off and lands in the little dish below, I'll just put back in the container. Get some on the inside of the rim there. All right, look at that, perfect, okay. So we've got a little bit of caramel and cinnamon sugar on our glass here, and then we'll get our drink ready. All right, now the recipe doesn't call to put this in the shaker and shake it up, um, but I just wanted to, I wanna do it anyway so my ingredients are nice and cold, okay? Hey guys, hey! All right, so a little bit of ice. Just want everything extra chill. So we're gonna do, um, it's gonna be two parts cider, one part caramel. So it calls for um, about two ounce, or sorry, about four ounces of the cider and about uh, two ounces of the vodka. So again, if you're making a whole pitcher, right, we've got the ratios. So four ounces, okay, or two parts of your cider. And then, one part, and today that's for us, is two ounces of the caramel vodka. Oh my gosh, I love the smell of this vodka, let me tell you. It's so good. It's so good. Okay. Very good. So now, of course, you know the drill. Shake, shake, shake. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pour this in the glass, and then we top it off with champagne. So first, let's check this out. So of course we don't want to fill this all the way to the top because we need to have room for champagne. So we'll see how much it makes. Oh, I definitely have enough in here for, for two drinks. So, okay. So there's that. We're going to top it off with champagne and then we're going to try it. So, by special request, I've got the champagne bottle opener here today. I told you, I love it when you guys have requests for me, things you want to see. Um, so shout out to Carol who wants to see the champagne bottle opener. This is for you. Also, love having to figure out, you know, the challenge of figuring out what to make for the drink. It's super fun. Okay, so the way this works, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the foil off the top here, okay? Now, the champagne bottle opener is perfect for people who are terrified of opening bottles of champagne. I'm sure you guys have all seen the videos on Facebook or YouTube of things going drastically wrong and they're hilarious because it's not happening to you, but if it happens to you, it's terrifying. So we just take the foil off the top and we've got our, our bottle opener here and um, I'm going to bring this up close so I can show you. 
So the bottle has that little piece that we're gonna unscrew, okay? And that's gonna go, put this right over the top, and there's actually, right in the champagne bottle opener, you can see there's like a little notch there. That is where your little wire goes, okay? And then this folds over the top, like this. Now, there is a magnet in the top here, and so the magnet is going to stick to this metal piece right here to help, help with the process, all right? So, once you have this on, now you can reach in here and you can untwist, okay? So you don't have to worry about untwisting and potentially releasing that pressure or that cork until you're ready, okay? So now everything is secure, it's, it's here. Um, we have this handle here and inside, I should show you when I had it, I'll show you in a minute. There's like little teeth uh, that I grab onto the cork. So I just hold the bottle, I hold the cork, and then I lift. All right, there's your pop. And see the cork, all right, you see? It's stuck in there because it's a magnet. And so it just pops right out. But yeah, see there's these little teeth that I was talking about. And they just hold onto the side of the cork so you can get it out and you don't have to worry about the cork shooting everywhere. Um, if you are someone that's not afraid to open a champagne bottle, this is probably not something you need. But for people who are absolutely terrified of it, which is most people that I know, this is a fabulous, fabulous tool. And definitely a must have this holiday season, let me tell you, okay? All right, so here we go. We'll tap off a little bit of champagne. Now here's the other thing about champagne. A lot of people don't buy it because how do you drink a whole bottle of champagne? Like unless you're having a party, you know, even two people together, like it's, it's a lot of bubbles and it's really hard to finish it. So a lot of people don't buy champagne because they don't want the second half of the bottle to go to waste. Uh, but Pampered Chef has a solution. This is our champagne stopper. And let me tell you, this thing works like crazy well. All right, so it just kind of sets on top and it's got little, um, it's got little like grips inside there. You can kind of hold it at an angle so you can see. So when you put it on and then you just kind of pinch it in. So push it, push it down and pinch it in, it'll hold on tight. And it'll keep it nice and pressurized and nice and bubbly. Uh, now Alex and I tried this when it first came out because we were both like, no way. No way this is gonna work. So we drank half bottle of champagne, we put the top on it and threw it in the fridge for like five days. Um, and when we pulled it out and pulled this top off, it went pop, just like a champagne bottle would when it was uh, fresh. And let me tell you, it was still nice and bubbly. It was fantastic. So this little doohickey, very inexpensive and it'll save your champagne so you can have mimosas on Saturday and then again on Sunday. You don't have to dump any champagne. So there we go. This is our caramel apple mimosa. Perfect for our Thursday afternoon. Great for holiday brunches. And um, let's see how it is. Okay, that's actually pretty amazing. I like that. Everybody should try that one, that's a good one. The caramel on there with the cinnamon sugar is pretty nice too, so. All right, that's what I have for you guys this week. Have a fabulous weekend and we will see you next week. I know it's Thanksgiving, um, but I'm already thinking about what I can come up with for a nice little Thanksgiving cocktail. So um, maybe if I can get my life together, I will come up with it ahead of time and tell you guys what ingredients to have on hand. Because uh, hopefully all of you will be home on Thanksgiving or with friends or loved ones on Thanksgiving. Uh, so you will be able to tune in live if you are one that normally watches the replay. So I'll try to post uh, the recipe ahead of time that I'm going to make so you guys can have the ingredients on hand and make it along with me. All right, have a great week. Have a happy Thanksgiving next week. We'll see you next Thursday.